Good morning, folks. We'll start with the beautiful plasma filament magnetically suspended over the sun's northwestern limb. Filament poses no threat to Earth, but looks amazing and solar telescopes can probably see the prominence. Okay, many of you know the radiation belt probes were launched successfully. Best news about it is they claim to be giving us real-time data here soon. Let's watch out for that. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter finds yet more water on the moon, solid article here, and it's officially the wettest summer for England and Wales in over a century. That makes heat, cold, and rain records all broke in the last year. I almost didn't believe this at first, but when I did a little bit more digging, I actually found that they've been looking for the source of nearby post-eruption symptoms for many decades. Speaking of which, we had some minor volcanic activity in Alaska last night, but the North Pole stole yesterday's show. Initially reported as a 6.6, .6, we had readings of 6.8 and even 7.0 for this quake way up north, Q believers underground. Coming south of Australia, we had a 5.0, and a bit later we had a 5.4, both reported by all agencies eventually, and a 5.3 struck New Zealand. Well, perhaps you heard about the dam in danger and them evacuating as many people as possible. The situation is technically ongoing as the remnants of Isaac have begun to kiss the drought goodbye. Too late for farmers, but welcome nonetheless. Interesting here though, you remember the moisture flying out of the top right side of the storm that broke the rain records in South Carolina. Apparently that trail goes all the way up to Iceland. That is a serious piece of weather. Three other hurricanes are active at the moment, all getting surprisingly powerful, but none are expected to come near U.S. coastline and Kirk should weaken before it hits Ireland. Air Comp des The sun woke up yesterday from days of silence with multiple C flares and an M flare. There is a good chance this will continue as we have sunspots with well-developed magnetics. Looking first at this region near the middle, these two groups straddle the solar equator, which is important because you can tell she hasn't done her pole flip yet. We still have positive blue spots leading the southern active regions, negative red leading the north. Up top, you cannot separate the polarities with a continuous line. They are too mixed. It's beta gamma at least, and it's already popping off. Two days old and her first CME comes out just before she turns to face us directly. We also have some aged active regions on the southeast, highly morphed and magnetically jumbled. The umbra aren't huge, but they're big enough for at least the M flare from yesterday, so eyes here as well. I'll leave you with the sun and 193 angstroms for the last 24 hours. Watch that filament on the left side. Got a full moon today. Technically, it was early this morning and has passed now, but it'll still look beautiful if you get a chance to see it. That's the news, folks. Be safe.